clamshell lighting, softbox and paramount with strip softbox below. All right, so the lighting setup I'm going to do here works fantastic for beauty shots, for headshots, and it's using two strobes, but both of these strobes are illuminating the face. The first strobe is a three foot octabox, and this is in paramount position, so it's nice and centered on the face, doesn't create too much shadow. And then the second light below is a strip softbox. What the strip softbox is doing is it's filling in the shadows underneath, and uh, it does so softly because it is a softbox. It also creates really interesting highlights because if you look at the catch lights in the eyes, you'll see the strip in the lower part of the eye. So it gives a really interesting sparkle. So let me show you a shot of this so you can see really how versatile it is. Perfect. All right, so you see that this is beautifully flattering and it's because that main light, that paramount softbox is up high enough to carve out her cheekbones and jawline. And then I have that second light a stop less in power. So it's half the power of that main light. And what that's going to allow me to do is instead of completely eliminating all the shadows, it just fills them in in a very glowing way. If you want to do this yourself and you want to eliminate the shadows, feel free to turn up the power of the bottom light. Or if you'd like it to be more subtle, simply turn it down to taste. So let me just show you what it looks like with and without the fill. So right now, just that three foot octabox in Paramount. Right, so you see the nice even shadows underneath her nose and her jaw, and it, again, it's soft light, so you can see the nice soft transitions. And now, we're going to add in that strip soft box below, which adds the little strip of catch light. I'm gonna turn up the light just a little bit so you can see when I turn it up a full stop so it's equal power, what it looks like. Great. So you can see how the shadows become significantly less noticeable. One more tip, one more thing you want to watch out for is you want to make sure that that bottom light isn't too low and close to your subject. Because if it's too low and too close, it ends up being bottom light. Yes, it's filling in underneath, but it'll end up being much brighter underneath the jaw. So I try to pull it back just a little bit so it isn't from such an upward angle. And to do so, I've used something called a floor stand, which you can see in the gear guide.